King Kelly Coleman of the Wayland Wasp. Kelly, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Talk a little bit about the game when you played and uh, how it's changed over the years since then. Well, when I played, a uh, foul was a foul. They yeah. called a foul. And you had to be careful not to foul. I fouled out a lot of games. If if I was playing today, I would have never fouled out in none of those games because yeah. the way they play today with pushing and shoving, I could do that as good as anybody if I had to, you know. Yeah. So I wouldn't have fouled out. And with the three-point basket the way they got it now, gee, yo. <laughs> I hate to think about it even, you know. A guy that scored more than 4,000 points, three-point goal, you'd probably scored seven, wouldn't you think? I got some more anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a bit. Early in your career, you mastered the jump shot. Tell us how it changed your game. Well, I was guarding a guy at Martin down here, a little little guy too, and he uh, – he was shooting a jump shot, and, I could, and he'd be up there shooting. I'm down here waiting on him to do something, you know. And I thought, you know, that's the kind of shot a person needs. That'll change the game is what I thought right then, and it did change the game, that jump shot did. There were a few other people, but in, even in the pros, you didn't see anybody shooting a jump shot. Most of them guys shot two-hand set shots or one-hand set shots like that, and that's it. So. I started practicing that in the summertime. I practiced all summer, and when I got to be a junior, I didn't shoot it in the sophomore year. I just kept practicing. When I got to be a junior, I started shooting it in the game. I felt like I was ready to shoot it, and I did pretty well with it, too, that year. I think I averaged about 34 points that year, my junior year, a game. So it, it made me a different player, really did. Talk a little bit about some of the great players that you went up against in high school. During that era, I mean, there were oh, some gosh, tremendous yeah. well, high school. Maybe just a couple of guys that, that you really respected on the court. Corky Withrow was one. I, we played them down in Central City uh, for a Christmas tournament. They had Jesse and Frank refereeing down. You know, you know Jesse and Frank James. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, they were refereeing. I, Corky and I kid about that right now. I run into one of the referees uh, that summer when I went to Westland. It was Quack Butler. You know, you know anybody with that name couldn't referee. Quack Butler. And uh, he says, Kelly, you didn't think we was going to let somebody from the mountains come down here and beat Central City, did you? I said, I knew that, but my coach and principal didn't. I told them I wasn't even going to go. And they said, well, they're giving us $800 to show up and paying all of our expenses. We need that money for equipment. And they shamed me into going down there. I would have never gone down, but Corky was one of the better players here. And, of course, Charlie Osman flat grab was as good as any big guy that I played on against all year, you know. He, he averaged 30-some points a game, and I think their team averaged about 84 or 85 points a game, too, something like that. So they were they had Carol Burchett on that team. Yeah. So he was a great player. And Lowell Hughes at Prestonburg, which nobody heard of him in basketball. He went to UK and played quarterback for him in football. Yeah. Lowell Hughes averaged over 40 points a game his senior year in high school. He did a lot of shooting, but he had a good high percentage of his shots. Yeah. So he was a good player. What would you tell the kids today that want to make basketball their primary sport? Well, for one thing, and a lot of kids do that I didn't do. They take shots. They practice shots that they know they can't shoot in a the game. They're wasting all their time practicing shots that doesn't going to do them any good. You can't, if you can't use it in the game, there's no need to practice it. And that would be one of the first things I would tell the, co the team, that you guys are going to take the shots where you normally shoot from. That's the ones you got to practice those shots in those areas because practice is what makes a person good in this game, whether you know it or not. It's practice. Yeah. And that would be my number one thing right there. Make them shoot from where they're going to shoot in a game and don't let them just be out there wasting hook shots and things they know they're not going to shoot. 